Welcome back to Speculate to Accumulate. We are now on episode 12. Is it? Aren't we? Episode 12. We're joined back by Aiden. You missed me, pal? No, but you've missed me. Oh, I have. Tell you what, it was lonely on, my bal- on that balcony. Telling you before the pod, Werner, that I had my phone set up on selfie mode on an ashtray, leaning against a big bottle of water. But I'm back to the call now, back in the northwest of England. And here we are. Back to normal business. So before we get going onto the accumulators, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We are now on 105 subscribers um, when this video goes out, which means we've now got our custom URL, which I've been waiting for for ages. So if you want to recommend your, the channel to your friends or you want to search the channel from a browser, www.youtube.com forward slash Byron's World. So now it's not www.youtube.com forward slash 7D9Y692. So yeah, we finally got the custom URL. Um, audio listeners, I do apologise if you do only listen to this podcast on audio. I didn't have my equipment over um, when I was over in Tenerife. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. That means you should be they should be subscribed to the YouTube channel as well. So then if they miss out there, they can get it there. See, but audio listeners, obviously, you'll be listening to this now. So we are back on Spotify and on iTunes. And before we get into a bit of football, we are brought to you, as always, by Faded Barbershop in Leyland. I said that really awkwardly. Faded Barbershop in Leyland. So if you are looking for a, if you're in the Northwest or Lancashire region and you are looking for a haircut, I went yesterday because I looked scruffy after a two week holiday. Um, and then head down, go and see Kane and the boys, and they will fix you up. So, to the football, the last one, both teams to score. <laughs> this is shocking. One, one performance, <laughs> and then one came in out of yeah. the remaining five. five. Shy. I think that was mine, were not it? Yeah. Um, and then on the accumulator, we had we hit four out of six. Port Vale let us down. They drew nil apiece, didn't they? At home. And it was the one Peterborough two apiece with Coventry, weren't it? Yeah. So, so we had a two two to yeah. each on that. Two two, yeah. With a Desmond. <laughs> close though. We were close. We're getting closer, but like we said at the if you've been watching this from the start of the series, we're getting form like we're getting more knowledge across the football league now, aren't we? We're not having to revise as much either, I find. I don't know when I'm making my notes, I'm not having to revise as much because I don't know, I just know what's going on. Um, but yeah, so we jump straight into the sixfold. Let's do it. Go on, ladies first. <laughs> uh, my first pick, I'm going for Leeds at home to QPR. Leeds have won three of the last um, five home games, all of them being 1-0, so they don't concede many goals at home. Um, and QPR can't seem to buy a clean sheet, with the last one being on uh, April the 10th uh, away at Millwall. Um, but to be fair to QPR, they have a decent away record this season with four wins and two losses. I just can't see them scoring enough to challenge Leeds, who kept seven league clean sheets already and only conceded twice in the league in the same same game, just the once. The one they left, aren't they, Leeds? No, this year. They are the one they left, see. They'll get. Have you watched much of Leeds, though? Uh, I've, the style I've, of play is quite good to watch. The press like packs of wolves. Yeah. Oh. All, all I've followed is the the nil nil seventy minutes. They bring on Eddie and Ketty and win one nil. Fucking hell, said like a true Arsenal fan. <laughs> is he not the top goal scorer? <clears throat> is I don't think he started a league game. He always started one, one, one. maybe two league games. One. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. My first pick is going to be Fleetwood away at Bolton. So uh, it's bottom bottom of the league. Bolton uh, versus fourth. Fleetwood are only four points off the top of League One this season so far, with Bolton having a struggling start with all the financials, troubles, etc. and having a big overhaul in players. I think they brought in, was it 13 men on deadline day or something like that? Yeah. So they are they are start you know, they're they're still gelling together. Um Bolton have won the previous two games, one in the league and one in the cup. But I can't see him beating Joey Barton's men here. Um because Fleetwood Last season, they're there or thereabouts playoffs, weren't they? Um, I do fancy him to push on this season. So, yeah, 
I do fancy Fleetwood. So my first pick's going to be Fleetwood to beat Bolton. Um, my second pick, I'm going for Coventry at home to Accrington Stanley. Uh, went against Coventry last week, but they put in a what I imagine. I've not seen any any of the game, but I imagine it was a great performance to get a two two away at Peterborough. Uh, they've won six of their eight. We call them home games, even though they're playing in Birmingham, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, this season, won six out of the eight. Accrington have only won one away, uh, which was South End, and have lost four of them. So Coventry at home to Accrington Stanley. Why are you talking about South End? My next pick is going to be Sunderland to beat South End. So Sunderland, they're unbeaten at home this season with four wins and one draw, while South End is struggling, uh, struggling with away form as they've uh, well the bottom of the league one, and they've only took one point away from home this season out um, out of the total of five points which they have collected. So they've had a winning a, winning a draw at home. And just a draw away. I can't see this going any other way. I know Sunderland can be dodgy at times, can't they? They throw a banana skin in some in some hackers, but I can't see him. I can't see Southend beating. They were well fancied to be running away with it this year, weren't they, Sunderland? And yeah. they just don't seem to be, do they? Well, obviously it's not based on the home form. They're, they're obviously pretty impressive at home. But yeah, they should start picking up the points now. They've got two hundred. A big club that you you know they're still getting like twenty odd thousand on in League One. Shame, really. Shame for the fans. But yeah, my second pick, Sunderland to beat Southend. Uh, my third and final pick is Swindon at home to Walsall. I'll admit, at the start of the season, I didn't expect to be talking about Walsall as possible relegation fodder. We, uh, in the I'm, podcast, we, we tipped them to go back, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, fancied fancy them to go straight back up, but they've been poor. Uh, they sit just three points above the drop zone, uh, and they've got the second worst goal difference in the league. They've lost the last five games, conceding 12 goals and knocking in just three. Well, on the other hand, Swindon have recently come out of a very tough run of fixtures where they've played Newport, Crew, Plymouth twice and Bradford in five of the last six or seven games. But since then, they've managed to put back-to-back wins together and this is the third favourable fixture on the bounce after beating Crawley and Stevenage. I do like Swindon this season, look. Like a bunch of likely lads, aren't they? My third and final pick, I'm going to go for... We're going to stay in League 2, and I'm going to go for Crew to beat Port Vale. So, Crew were unbeaten in the previous eight games and they sit top of League 2, coming coming up against a Port Vale side who are 11th in League 2, eight points adrift. Eight points taken in, in the previous four home, uh, home fixtures for Crew, with Port Vale taking seven points from their previous four aways. Uh, granted, that was against uh, lesser lesser opposition, uh, minus the quite impressive two one away win at Bradford a couple of weeks ago. Um, however, I, I do fancy Crew in this one. They've they, they've started well, like shit off a shovel, and uh, long 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 may it continue. If you're a Crew fan, at least for this week, or, anyway. or someone that likes to bet on them. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so my final pick is going to be Crew to beat Port Vale. So the final six, Leeds, Bolt, uh, no Fleetwood, Coventry, Sunderland, Swindon, and Crew. Best odds on odds checker as of dinner time today were twenty five to one. Not too bad. I know the Sunderland price is really yeah, shit. Two seven, I said. Yeah, I, I saw that like <clears> one to three best odds, and then I think. Um, Leeds were one to two as well. I was struggling because you got the uh, you got first dibs this week on the Acker, and then I got first dibs on both teams scored. And then I, so I was looking around. I, I struggled with some both teams to scores. I, sh- I struggled finding somebody other than Sunderland to be honest with you. But yeah, so still twenty five to one, decent little decent little six fold that. So we'll crack on to the both teams to score. I'll kick things off. Uh, my first game I'm going to pick is going to be Luton versus Nottingham Forest. So Luton are the, one of the best teams across the football league for both teams to score this season. They've landed 10 out of 14 games in the championship. Not bad for a side who've just come up from League One. Uh, Forest have landed 8 out of 13 this season, which is also quite an impressive stat. But with Luton, And with Luton's wide open style of play end to end, I fancy both teams are scoring again. My first pick, Luton versus Notts Forest. 
Uh, my first pick, I'm going for AFC Wimbledon versus Lincoln. Wimbledon are statistically the best around for both teams to score back, as landing 12 out of 15 in the league this season. Fucking hell, nice. Um, Lincoln, despite not landing a single home one this season, luckily they're away this weekend, have landed five out of eight on the road, so better than our. Yeah, yeah. So, AFC Wimbledon versus Lincoln. My second pick, we're going to go down to week two. It's going to be Cheltenham versus Forest Green. It's third versus fourth with Cheltenham, Cheltenham landing four out, of, four out of the previous five fixtures, both teams to score. Forest Green scoring 11, uh, not 11, seven away goals in the previous five away fixtures. Both sides are pushing for promotion, so I do fancy a lot of goals in this one. Third versus fourth, you, you'd like to think so, wouldn't you? So yeah, my second pick, Cheltenham versus Forest Green. Um, my second pick, and like I said before, uh, I've struggled up both teams to score this week with not having first dibs. Um, but I've gone for Cambridge versus Crawley. Now, statistically speaking, Cambridge aren't one of the best for backing uh, on both teams score. They've landed just six of 16 and three out of eight at home this season. But Crawley, on the other hand, have landed in all eight of their league aways this season. So I'm hoping that Crawley have the say on it in the end. And they they managed to leak one, score one. Yeah. My third and final pick on the both teams to score is going to be Blackpool versus Peterborough. So both sides have landed both teams to score three out of the five uh, previous five outings, with Darren Ferguson's Peterborough being in fine form as of late, scoring nine away goals in the previous five away fixtures. Blackpool's previous five home games have had both teams to score in four in four of them. And seven out of nine home games they've played this season. Um, Blackpool, well, both teams scored landed down at Bloomfield Road, where Blackpool play. Uh, Peterborough have only failed to score in two away games in League One this season, which I, I, find, I think that's a really impressive stat. So, yeah, my third and final pick, Blackpool versus Peterborough. And my third and final pick is Bradford versus Exeter. Bradford have landed uh, both teams scoring 10 out of 15 this season with 5 out of 8 at home. Exeter have landed in 3 of the last 5 aways. And when you look at the table, this is quite a tasty game between two promotion chasers. And there's just two points separating the two sides. So let's have some goals. I'm having a look at that for the Acker, but you can't really call can't, it. Can't can split it on a win, can you? Not after Exeter just murdered Plymouth 4-0 or something last week, didn't yeah. they? <laughs> yeah, they did in the, in the derby. Yeah. Battered Argyle. So both teams to score is as follows Luton versus Nottingham Forest, Wimbledon versus Lincoln, Cheltenham versus Forest Green, Cambridge versus Crawley, Blackpool versus Peterborough, and Bradford versus Exeter. Best odds on odds checker around 31 to 1. Nice. Not too bad. Good for both teams to score that. Do you know, just noticed as well? Do you remember the other week we had Forest and Forest Green? We've done it again. Done it again, but on the both teams to score. We did say as well. Um, on episode ten, <clears throat> we was going to do the score and win, but obviously episode ten, I was in, I was over in Tenerife, so we're going to do it now. So we've got a treble score and win. Have you got the goods? I have, yeah. So me and Aiden, we've we like mutually decided all three of these, didn't we? Um, and then while we're, we're at work, we tended to have one pick each and then agreed on one. Yeah, yeah, we? that's right. Go on, mate. Uh, First pick is Wickham at home to Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury have scored five and conceded seven in the league aways this season and have scored in three of the last five aways. Wickham have won six out of nine at home this season. Um, you had some more, didn't you, on notes for that? But Yeah. I, 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 I couldn't dig up much on that game, to be fair. Uh, second pick, Wimbledon versus Lincoln. I spoke earlier about Wimbledon's both teams to score record and why I fancy that for both teams to score anyway. But before losing to Burton a week and a half ago in the last league fixture, Wimbledon pieced together four wins on the bounce, three of them being in the league and the other one I think were beating Leighton Orient in the EFL trophy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's Wimbledon at home to Lincoln. And then third and final pick is Doncaster versus Doncaster to score and win against Burton. Uh, Doncaster have won three of the last five home league games and have conceded in three of the, uh, three of them five two. Uh, Burton have lost two of the last three aways and won only one of the last five. 
but have scored in four of them five lo- uh, games. Sorry, not no losses. Uh, remember, that's the both teams to score and a team to win. And that's Wickham, Wimbledon and Doncaster for the wins. Best odds on odds, odds checker, 133 to 1. Tasty. Get one of them with a fiver on. Ooh, sort of a 600 quid for a fiver, isn't yeah, it? It's nice. It is nice. So we're going to start with that every week now um, as well. Um, just because the odds are just insane. It, it, they look so easy to it, don't they? But Obviously not. Yeah. That's why you get the odds. But... Yeah, that's it. But yeah, we're back anyhow. Um, bit longer this week because we had quite a bit to get through and we've got the, uh, the score on win treble on there as well. If you did like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button, which is down here. Like like I said, I'm now up to 105 subscribers. So maybe if you if your mates want some tips, then share the share away share the videos away to them. Um, and yeah, it's uh, the channel building, pal. Gaining con- be an empire. Con- <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, audio listeners, cheers for hanging in on, on in there. And if you are listening on audio, head over to Apple Podcast and give us a five-star review. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Peace.